Hello, yes, time is not on our side, and our enemies know this only too well. They know time is against the British people. In fact, as John Tyndall once said, in fact, he named his book after it, we're in the 11th hour. Search out John Tyndall's book, those that haven't read it, those that are new to the scene, those that are new to watching my videos. Look, look up John Tyndall and search out his book, The 11th Hour. Like John Tyndall said, the 11th hour, that was back in 1986, 30 odd years ago. We are indeed in the 11th hour. Our enemies, they're well aware that we're in the 11th hour and they know what this means. That if we don't get our act together soon, there's going to be no turning in this back. So time is not on our side. So our enemies have created cult figures like Tommy Robinson. Marching up and down the high street, then into Witherspoons, few scoops. Nothing wrong with that, but anyway, then on the train, and then home. Anger controlled, defused, problem sorted. And that's what's happening. Get Join Paul Golding, go march with him round Luton or Telford or of late Rochdale and achieve what? Zilch. Just march up and down the high street, shouting off, letting off a bit of steam, but achieving zilch. Open up a Facebook page, Dick Griffin, British Unity being one example, and he should know better. Just repost articles everyone else is reposting. Oh, and have the odd article by Whitefire66, whatever that means, whoever he is, she is. This is taken as nowhere. And if you want to go a step even further for insult, join the Identitarians on the Identitarian ship. Sea Star sailing around the Mediterranean now, trying to stop migrants crossing from Africa to uh, Europe, which is impossible. It's a logistically impossible nightmare. And Nick Griffin must know that. Dr. David Duke must know that. Yeah, the support here. But anyway, we're in the 11th hour, and that's why our enemies have created the distractionary groups, individuals to uh, so people can, they look up to them as leaders, look up to them for advice, wisdom, but it's not forthcoming. All it is, is the usual nonsense. Tommy Robinson will march you up and down the high street, then into Witherspoons. A few pints, like I say, not wrong in that. And then the train home. Well, that's not achieving anything. Or oh, he'll post silly juvenile videos on his Facebook with that quilt of his, what's his name? Colin Robertson. Colin Robinson made a video the other day about what's wrong with this country. Well, you're one of the symptoms of what's wrong with it. Haven't you got on that yet? Or the nationalists are supporting these people. In fact, Nick Griffin posted one of his videos on his Nick Griffin British Unity. People like you, Mr. Colin Robertson, you're a symptom of what's happened to this country, right? That's another video in itself. So our enemies have got us marching up and down the high streets into Witherspoons few drinks, like I say, there's no harm in that, but it's for the wrong reason. We need to get back there, which we will. We will. We need to get back there. Campaigning local issues for local people wrapped around mass immigration and its impact on local services and on people's lives. That's how we have to push this. Not save the white race or identitarianism. The identitarians of the Starship Enterprise. That, that's not go down with a lead balloon. But our enemies know that. They know that only too well. Nick Griffin knows. Dr. David Duke knows. But they're going along with for some bizarre reason. Maybe it's convenient for them at the moment. Maybe you can sell more books, Dr. David Duke. Maybe Griffin, you can try and get some support back. I don't know. I just do not know. What I do know is time is not on our side and we're wasting it. Even genuine nationalists like Nick Griff, which he is, he's not a snitch, he's a, a genuine nationalist for all his faults, and I'm sure I've got plenty, he's wasting time. Let's just repost and wait for the Reconquista. When's that? When's that happening? We can take this back if we do it right now. We can. We've just got to get back in there in the Islamic Republics, win back council seats, get a bit of street cred, bit of support, bit of respect back, which we can, and then take it from there. But our enemies have cleverly distracted us from all that with Tommy Robinson, the cult of Tommy Robinson. I'm still waiting for him to knock here. Yeah, maybe I'm in the uh, end of the queue. Who knows? We shall see. As Nick Griffin used to say, he may still say that. But anyway... Anyway, uh, so time's not on our side, not enemies creating distractions. So time is creeping up on us as we're playing silly games either on the Mediterranean, marching with Tommy Robinson, 
Marching with Paul Golding and achieving nothing got even worse when National Action was about. I'm sure it'll be reformed into some other stupid group like that. Scottish Dawn is the one now. Oh my God, Christ, look them up. Another state-created nonsense. But anyway, our enemies are deliberately taking us down a dead-end road of confrontation, marches, piss-ups, fights, arrests, nonsense, posting juvenile videos, Tommy Robinson style. On Facebook, go on Tommy, you're a hero, you're not a hero, you're working for the big boys in MI5 and it's two criminal proxies, hope not hating the clothes, Jerry Gable's Sageland magazine, you're not a hero, you're only fooling those that are naive to this, to the movements and what's happening, I know what's going on, so there's Nick Griffin, you're a wrong and if there ever was one, don't be ashamed of yourself, but anyway, so they're distracting us, that's what they're doing, they're taking us, uh, taking our eye off the ball, we've got to get back in there. So I'll win in elections. I was driving around Kensington, Liverpool, commonly now known as Kenya. And it's even worse than I thought the other week. Two pubs, the one I used to drink in, the Molyneux on Molyneux Road, I used to drink in there in the 80s. That's now a Muslim superstore. One round the corner, the Fidium, that's the same. I don't knock these Yemenis or whoever they are. They're not Pakistanis. People keep saying to me, the package shops, they're not. The Yemenis. Uh, I don't blame these people for their business acumen and they're getting off their arse and working. I don't knock these people, right? I, I knock our own people for allowing this to happen, right? But anyway, our people have been blinded and they've been dumbed down, they've been they're frightened, they're scared, they've been, you know, criticised, they're racist and they are frightened, so maybe I shouldn't uh, blame them. Blame, blame the ones in power. But anyway, all the same. Uh, Kensington is rapidly changing just like not a screen is here where I live and we are indeed in the 11th hour and we need to do something now right while we've still got the chance while we can still win which we can our enemies want you to believe we can't we can right they wouldn't be creating all these distractions would they identitarian movements I mean come on get real who's taking them says well no one and that's the purpose of it. It'll be another dead-end stunt controlled by our enemies that will just create more despair, demoralization. It'll fleece people's uh, pockets of money and, and so on and so on. It just, people just give up, right? So we've got to get back in there. I'm going to start this party soon, six weeks. I've got a friend that's going to be joining me. And uh, we're going to get up and running. We're going to get finance. We're going to bring money in. We're going to get it going, get the ball uh, going again, get the, the ball rolling, and we will, I promise you, we will, that Kensington, trust me, I'm going to do well there, right, I know exactly how to approach that area, but in the meantime, our enemies have got us running around in circles, wasting time, time we don't have, you've got to now understand what's happening, you've got to understand what our enemies are doing, and how they're doing it, Right, the identitarian who's sailing around the Mediterranean. Come on, that's not going to solve anything. You're just wasting your time, efforts and money. And Nick Griffin knows that. So does Dr. David Duke, yeah. They support him. You know, what works is what worked in the past. Which is not, that's what they fear. You see, hope not hate have gone overboard on this dead-end project that they know is not going to win any mass support around the world. It's just going to be a few good people and a few, a few cranks and weirdos that want excitement and obviously the spies that's all it's going to do it's going to just attract the hotheads it's not going to win power our enemies know that only too well that's why they're doing it but anyway hope not hate has gone overboard on this dead end project when the bmp was standing candidates and it looked like it was going to win they went really overboard they got uh, so-called celebrities and uh, singers uh, actors whatever to campaign against us with them right because they knew they they feared us being elected on council seats they feared it but they shouldn't fear the identity yet they are and that's so people start believing this is the real thing now this is it now this is our time these people are the real the real deal they're gonna show us how it's gonna be done they're gonna defend and win back europe and nothing can be further from the truth Hope not hate wouldn't be putting so much time and effort into this dead-end project, right? If it was dead-end, it knows it's dead-end, so why is it putting so much time and effort into it? Because it wants the faithful to believe that this is the way forward. And they want to push that because they know there's a disaster on the horizon of the Mediterranean soon, don't they? Of course. And also, finally, 
So it's getting hot in this room. Christ, it's still warm out, isn't it? Uh, if that was the genuine real deal, and Nick Griffin crowdfunded the BMP when he was chairman, and he raised enough money to buy a ship, let's say we called it, on a serious note this time, he called it Excalibur, right? That wouldn't get out of Southampton Dock, and you know it wouldn't. Come on, time to wake up and smell the coffee. Okay, thank you.